Tell me about it, mate. Tell me about it. Always talking to myself constantly. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. Where we're in the uh, the Water Shadow Tavern in Lothanis, which is, again, another colossal detour off of our intended path. But nevertheless, we find ourselves in this strange Talvani town in the middle of some sort of lake, I think. It's weird. It's either on the coast or it's in a lake or something, and there's just sort of a Talvani town growing out of it. Uh, it's interesting. But anyway, uh, the, the, the people in this tavern don't seem to be very fond of this suspicious red guard, apparently. So, uh... We'll have a word with him. These Dunmer may not be the friendliest, but their drinks sure are good. I'm Karma, Crusader. Some commotion up in Ranyan Rune, something about not having slaves to work in the mine. Really? I didn't hear about that while I was there. You might, not want, to, you might want to keep away from the waterfall near here. Several more who wandered near it have disappeared. Is that so? That sounds interesting. Under the council hall in Port Telvanis, the mage lords keep mountains of treasure. They say that it's guarded by fierce Daedric servants, though. Now that is interesting. That is very interesting. About 50% of Vardenfell's inhabitants are done, but the other half are red card. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so on and so forth. Endure a crusader. Okay, so, you know, it's weird. Maybe there's, maybe there's meant to be a quest there, but they've not added it to the game yet. I don't know. Who's this fella? Father Zulvan, what a pleasant surprise. I know a little bit about you. I see you've come a long way from being a prisoner of the Empire. Yes, I know of your release from prison. I also know that you're a member of the Blades. As am I. I'm here on a mission that might be become much easier if you can lend a helping hand. Excuse me? Indeed, you see, I have tracked a smuggler of illicit materials, namely moon sugar, skooma, slaves, and certain valuable information regarding Imperial activities to this tavern here. In fact, he is standing in this very room. Recently, his customers have included a Drez noble who is scheming against the Empire. I mean to capture him, but need to get him alone, away from this crowd. He knows me, we have a history. I can't speak to him without risking exposure, that's where you come in. If you pose as a customer who wants to buy moon sugar, you can lure him below into one of the private rooms. There, I can deal with him without disturbing the locals. What do you say? <laughs> Bollocks. I don't think we really want to do this, but we're going to have to. Because otherwise this guy will send a report back to Kaios or someone like that being like, right, yeah, Bath is Ulven. He's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. He's not helping. He's not doing blade stuff. So, um, okay, fine. Fathis, you see, Fathis doesn't like being a blade, in case you'd sort of forgotten this or anything like that, but he doesn't like being a blade. Fathis doesn't like the Empire. The Empire has been nothing but unkind to him. Um, he kind of, he kind of hates the Empire at this point, out, mostly out of spite rather than any kind of uh, feeling of, oh, no, the, the world would be a much nicer place without the Empire. No, it's mostly just spite and petty revenge so he really doesn't like him very much but he's in this weird position where if he doesn't do as the blades say then he'll just get thrown in prison all over again and he really hates it i think he really resents this 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 uh grip on him that the 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 empire still has in spite of all that he's done and all that he's become ever since coming to Vardenfell, his sort of little rise to power here as like leader of the morag tong and so, so on and so forth like that that the blades always sort of have a hand on his shoulder, so to speak, and I think that really fucking annoys him, but there's nothing he can do about it, so um I'll do it excellent, he's standing over there by that passage leading to the lower level of the building, good luck yeah, yeah, sure, whatever uh. um Probably nothing. which passage this one, this guy here you look like you could use something stronger than grief, Dark Elf. Interested in owning your own little corner of bliss? Hmm. Oh, see, now I have options. I love this. Um. Oh, man. Oh, it's so... Ah. Uh, 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's not the most sensible thing, but I'm gonna do it. Listen carefully, Gritnall. An Imperial named Him Him Himnatus has come to capture you. What? I Himnatus here. He he can't be. But I don't see why you'd lie about it. Thank you for the tip off, Bathus Olven. I will leave Lothanus soon. Here, take these drakes for the the information. All right, Julian, time to make herself scarce, I think. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Um, before he starts asking questions, this may come back to bite us later, but it was worth it. Um, <laughs> right, yeah, let's leave this place. Um, yeah, that was... Bathus probably shouldn't have done that, but he did it anyway because... I don't know, I guess just on a whim he was like, you know what? Screw the blades. I hate this. I gotta tip this guy off and let him get away. Even though, if Caius hears about it, he's probably not gonna be very happy. I think Bathus at this point is sort of a bit like, he's feeling... He's egotistically right now. He's on a bit of a hide, you know. Like he's master of the Morag Tong, you know. He's 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 an accomplished assassin and everything at this point, you know. It's it's like uh, I think he thinks he can get away with it, maybe right right now, perhaps. Um, yeah, so, okay, right, we want to go this way and up here. I have no I have no idea if there will be any consequences to that. My guess is, is maybe not, but, uh, who knows, actually, who knows. But we are going to get out of this town before, um, before the other Blades fella has a chance to question us as to exactly why the, uh, why his target seems to have slipped away. <laughs> yeah. That felt good. Or rather, as far as Fathers is concerned, it felt good. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Stupid blade, stupid empire. Right, okay. This way. What the? All right, who the hell are you? Greetings, Agent. I wonder if you might be so kind as to assist me with something. I've been tracking a pair of smugglers, and I wondered if you might be so kind as to help me bring them to heel. It depends on what you're offering. I'm tracking a pair of smugglers who are fleeing from the righteous fury of my master. I have followed the scent of their treachery this far, and I believe that they are to be found in this valley, a short way to the southeast of here. Will you help me track these scum down and bring them the justice they deserve? Uh, what have what have these people done that you seek them? They have angered my master. I serve my master loyally, and so these wretches must pay for their transgressions with their lives. I will say no more. Nah, I will not help you. But if you'll not help me, then do not hinder me. I must be off as soon as I have caught my breath. Mind you, I am going this way anyway, but... Uh... There was no mention of a reward there, so sod that. These are some funny looking trees, aren't they? Hmm. I haven't seen those before. At least I don't think so. So our journey continues. We seem to just keep bumping into people who want us to do stuff all the way along our path without even trying. Uh, something wants us dead. I have no idea what, though. Probably a cliff race that I can't see because of these trees, if I had to guess. I don't know, maybe there's a rat somewhere that's stuck or whatever. I don't know, let's just keep going. This should take us to the coast eventually, if, my, if I read my map correctly, look back there. Am 
We're just going to have very dramatic walking music for a bit. Also, are you hostile? Yes. This is one of those tracks from the game that remind you that Jeremy Soul's earlier work really did just all sound the same. Like this particular piece of music right now, it, sound, it manages to sound very Neverwinter Nights and very Knights of the Old Republic and very Morrowind all at the same time. His, uh, his stuff's definitely improved over the years. Uh, not to say it's bad or anything, but... Royal Venom Ancestral Tomb? Do we fancy it? Why do I have this feeling of deja vu? I feel like we've already been here before. Although we clearly haven't. We've just been here that looked very similar to this. That's a massive stone arch, isn't it? Um... Fine. It's not like we're going to come back here anytime soon. Once we reach Port Telvanis, I am done with the whole walking long distances thing for a while. I will be only too happy to fast travel for a while. Believe me. Oh my word, what's happened here? Bollocks. Archer skeletons are so annoying. Okay, this place seems to be flooded and also there's been some sort of battle. Interesting. Avani Dust Adept Helm. Guard Shield. House of Troubles. Empty Chest. Uh, will Knock open it? No, it won't. I'm sure, I think I have a spell that will open this. Ah, this might open it. Damn it. Stupid RNG opening spell. Ugh. Oh, bollocks. Let's switch to the other one. Uh, fine. I'll get a lockpick out. I'm really trying to... I'm trying hard to improve my magic skills here. Come on. I bet there's nothing in here as well. <laughs> That's the thing. Oh, 50 gold. Yeah, great. Fantastic. Can I... Please, thank you. Interesting. This place is a little bit different. Oh boy, hello. Uh... Should we summon? Um, Bone Walker as well. Oh well, why skeleton? About scamp. Is that really worth it just for one skeleton? Probably not. Now I can't even get into the room. This bone walker is somehow just oblivious to our presence and I have no idea why. Dude, hello! Adventurers here! Trying to loot your tomb! Your legs were invisible for a minute there. Uh, excuse me? I your, your legs were invisible. Never mind. Never mind. Get out of my way. Where's it gone? Is it wandered off down there? I wasn't watching. It's disappeared. Oh, there you are. There we go. Uh, I'm over it. Bastard, damn it all. I can't.
not cast that. <clears throat> uh, I have a potion. Yep. There we go. All right. Bone walkers, diseased bone walkers. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Oh, I don't need the bent probe. I'll take the lockpick though. Cephalopod, cephalopod helm? Is that a cephalopod? I think so. Lock level 80, huh? And a shrine of St. Velos. Let's get that and Velos in dwelling. Since it doesn't cost me anything. Alright. Um... Ah, first time. Too complex, eh? What if I use this? Damn. Damn. I really need to do something about my inability to get these high-level locks open. Like, I really need to do something about it. This is intolerable. I keep running into all these high-level locks and I can't do anything with them. I definitely don't have a scroll that could open it, do I? Uh, just that lesser lock splitting. Again, there's another random one which I hate. Uh, best thing I've got is on Deucey's key. Which again, I could have used earlier instead of casting a spell or using the lockpicks, but at least casting the spells and using the lockpicks actually increases your skills, unlike on Deucey's key, which doesn't. Uh, but I, yeah, I should. That's really what I need to do, isn't it? I need to get, I need to get an enchanted ring or something that can open lock level 100. That's what I need. I need to visit an enchanter, see what I can do about that. Have I got a grand soul gem? I've got one that's not filled. Uh, hmm. Should see about finding something to fill that grand soul gem with, because it's probably going to take a grand soul gem to do it, isn't it? Um. Then again, I don't know. Oh, hello. Oh, it's empty. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <sighs> this is the problem with being an old man, isn't it? Um. <laughs> right, let's do a couple of things here. This... And one of these levitate potions I made. There we go, that'll do it. Oh dear. Alright. So continuing on, how long is this potion gonna last for, I wonder? This is a homemade one, so I have absolutely no idea. Ah, those would be the smugglers. And, of course, they are attacking on sight, because why wouldn't they? Um, summon Storm Atronach. Oh, how good would that be? Um, really? How can I? Oh. Morrowind has stopped working. A problem caused the program to stop working correctly. Windows will close the program and notify, if you're, uh, notify you if a solution is of... Uh, it didn't like me levitating, apparently. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Uh... Hello, friends. Uh, let's see. Hey, it worked this time. Ah. Oh. Ouch. Oh, that's one down. There we go. I wanted to summon a scamp because the scamp would have been immune to their weapons. But uh, never mind. A wooden buckler. Don't mind if I do. Hmm, that's interesting. It looks like that 
But in the menu, it looks like that. Interesting. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll have those. It doesn't look like a buckler to me. It looks too, a bit too big to be a buckler, really, honestly. But uh, whatever. Whatever you say, game. And again, I'm not an expert on bucklers, so who knows. All right, what, what were you guys guarding, then? Skooma. Skooma wolf's blood wine. Uh, Vig. Interesting. That's some strong stuff. Frost damage one point for six seconds. Yikes. All right. Anyway, you can leave now. So you can leave now. Right, and this, behold the sea. And that way lies Port Teldarnus. So, let's go up the coast and hop across that bit. Yeah, they see that's Port Teldarnus, so you can actually see the city, all of its tentacle spires and stuff. There's the island a little bit south of it, uh, Gar, Gar Sandrif. So, yeah. Uh, although there's no real beach to walk up on this bit, is there? Which is a little bit annoying, but okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, we will... We'll use... This again. And I'll use a scroll I've had lying around for ages. Um... Uh, Selen's Mist Slippers. That's the one. Hundred eighty seconds of uh, water walking, which is not bad. Also, I'll get my own water walking spell ready. I think. Yep. So now, effectively, we're just going to practically retrace our steps up the coast again. But hey, whatever. I never promised you we would take the direct route to Port Talvanas. I only told you we'd get to Port Talvanas eventually. So then once it's dead. I don't care what it is. It's not going to get us. I need to keep an eye on that icon at the bottom right there with the water walking before I go splosh again. Because we don't want that. It was very embarrassing the first time. It's a very uh, impressive looking coastline, that's actually, I gotta say. All of this Tamriel Revolt stuff is amazing. To be fair. Is that a Dwarven Ruin? That is a Dwarven Ruin. That'll make an interesting change of pace. I seem to have some sort of small bug crawling around on my screen. In fact, I think it's crawling around inside my screen. That's not good. Because I can't... I can't get it off... Okay, that's not great. Well, don't fucking squish it then, otherwise it'll be there forever. Um... How did you get inside my monitor? It's tiny. Like, it's so tiny on the screen, it, the, the bug itself looks like it's about two pixels. It's just the miniest thing ever, and it's just sort of, it's just crawling around on my screen. But on the other side of the monitor, it's... Hmm. I wasn't sure if that was an in-game thing at first. I had to, like, move the camera to make sure. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh... Okay. A little bit annoying. Why is this green? This is all, like... Really weird looking green. Also, this spell's gonna run out in a minute. Okay, we're nearly up there. 
Probably could have just walked all the way across the, the big open ocean there by now, honestly, but... Whatever. Because someone in the comments will be telling me, why didn't you just do that? Because I didn't want to. I want to go this way and explore that way, all right? There's a dwarf ruin and stuff. Deal with it. I was kind of expecting this to be a beach, but it's really not, so... And, uh, lo and behold, there you go, I fell in the water. And there's a... Yeah, there's a Dunmer Tower stronghold thing there, too. Loads of stuff. You see, we'd miss all this. We'd miss all of this if, 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 if we'd gone straight across. Do you realize... Also, there's a river strider there. Huh. That's a mud crab. And more battle music. Good heavens. Never ends then. You know what's quite funny is that every time my my water walking runs out, so does his. <laughs> it's getting dark, actually. We may want to set up a camp before we reach the town, or maybe we can reach it before. Well, we probably won't reach it before nightfall, but maybe we can reach it later on. Hello, small creature. What are you? It's an ornada. Do you have any useful ingredients? Ornada meat. Restore fatigue and resist poison. Turns out, yeah, you do, actually. All right, I'm curious. What's this around here? It's another little Talvani settlement. Hmm. I didn't even know this was here. Interesting. Maybe we can rest here for the evening. Wherever, you know, here is. You there. Oh, for heaven's sake. Have the gold. I don't even know what that crime was. No, I haven't the foggiest clue. No idea whatsoever. I don't know. You've got nothing interesting to say. Um, I don't know if I had any stolen goods on me. I really have no... I, I, I can't remember at all, so... If I did, oh well. My weapons seem to be intact, at least, so... Angon Sadus' manor. Interesting. Has his own personal little river strider then, it looks like, almost. But there's other stuff over here too, so... Oh, we're at a plantation. Ah, okay, right. Now, now I understand. Now it makes sense. Carulius. This is Sadas Plantation. What are you doing here? Unless you're here for business or are looking for a job, you've no reason to stay here and distract the workers. Tell Sadus. Well, this is certainly interesting. Oh, hey, look! That's, that's you're a plain strider, I think, on you. you know, that's a silt strider without the top cut out of it. This is where they farm silt striders. Huh. Well, you knew they had to farm them somewhere, right? Or, you know, re rear them somewhere. I'm sorry to impose, but could you help me? Argyll is very ill. The silt strider in this pen, Argyll, has been very ill and recently has recently taken a turn for the worse. 
Gali Theraneth in Port Salvanus has been working on a cure potion, but I'm afraid that I can't leave Argil to retrieve it due to its recent relapse. Would you be able to get it for me? Sorry, I don't have the time. I understand. I'll see if I can find someone else. We are probably going to an alchemist in Port Telvanus because of that other, other quest. But, uh, you know. Does Fathers necessarily want to trek all the way back out here to this end of the island? No. Not for a poxy silt strider. This is probably... To, to go on a little bit of a... Uh, Elder Scrolls ramble here. This is one of my problems I've already, always had with these games because the option to be a kind of evilish character in uh, the Elder Scrolls games has generally just been to refuse the quest. It's not like when you play something like Neverwinter Nights where you rescue the baby from the from the kidnapping kobolds, you come back and you have the option to keep the baby and ransom it, you know. In in in, in if in Morrowind, it's oh please rescue my baby. It's like either do the quest or don't do the quest. Those are your choices. You you rescue the baby and return it and hooray, or you just don't do the quest at all. Like there's no option to be like okay I'll do it but for a big pile of money or I'll do it and I'll ransom the kid, um or what have you. A gold mine. Well, hold on a second. I need some raw gold. This is perfect. Here I was, walking in randomly in this direction, which is probably the wrong direction, purely because I was talking about something completely unrelated, and it was fate. It was definitely fate. It led us here. Look at all that raw gold. Now, the trick here is going to be getting our hands on some without the guards noticing. And there's quite a few guards, so... And other people besides. More gold owned. How can we get away with this? Wait five. Where is that slave? I think we got away with that. Yes, we did. Brilliant. Damn, spotted. Yes, although I'm over encumbered now. Bother. All right, let me just uh, use the amulet of mighty blows. All right, we, yeah, we've got as much as we can handle right now. Um, let's just leave. Probably should have put on my mask or something to uh, disguise myself, I suppose. But then again, Julian doesn't have any kind of face mask, so whatever. Um. All right, now we're back out here. Let me put back on this. And... Companion share. I got some gold for you to carry. Um, I'll probably take about half of it, right? Oh, for heaven's sake, man. He's so, it's such a weakling! Can't carry shit. Like my carry capacity is like 470 right now. It's 269. Although that my my strength is buffed right now, but still. Um. I am carrying a lot of very heavy books. And, uh, and ironically, actually, like, this is not as good as the book because <laughs> it weighs five and is worth 250, whereas the book is weighs four and is worth 250. So, ah, <laughs> uh, bother. All right, you know what? Hold on to that. That brings me down to 406. 
Um, Ruins of Camel's even reading that at the moment, so I'll hold on to that. A handbook for the Devout. There's the Vig. I'm not wearing the mentor's ring. Uh, lost in damn it all. Yeah, there's not much else I can drop at this point. I have a shit ton of potions that are probably not helping, but uh, bother. <laughs> You've got a massive bat lags. Um. See how far we can go. Uh, also, this path goes up this way, so let's just follow this. Or not, because I am stuck again. <sighs> oh boy, okay, we might have to leave some of the gold behind. It makes me so, so, so sad to say that. <laughs> 